She is best known for being the face behind Kenya's second largest brewery. However, how was her life prior to this? I was born here in Kenton, Kijabi, and uh, that's why I was uh, brought up. Okay, normal family in uh, Kenya, uh, or maybe below normal family, but at least my dad was able to educate us. Her story seems hard to believe, especially after a tour of her vast estate, a brewery that is her pride and joy. On the walls are pictures of her enjoying good times with the who is who in the country. Hers is a story of determination, a characteristic that she formed and developed at a tender age. The prerequisite of her role as CEO of the company having been her role in the family, the firstborn and a mother figure to her siblings. Being a firstborn of 10, Ten siblings behind you, and uh, wanting to achieve at an early age. So even when you close your school, you I remember going to the classes where my sisters, my brothers were, and wanting to know their performance. Regardless of her journey and the success that crowns her otherwise normal life, she remembers her background as a very humble one, even going back at times to try and help out where she can. Because I know where I come from. Still the same place, still poor, poor poverty, the same. It doesn't change. It has not changed much. Uh, but these things, you know, they are changed by the people. If people work hard at our age, they move out, then they come back. Tabitha Karanja takes pride in having been a top performer in whichever school she attended. And yes, she attended one of the best schools in the country. And their current performance still inspires a sense of pride in her after every year's national exam results are announced. I went to Bahati Girls. I'm happy Bahati Girls is still doing well even after today. Like all good things that come to an end, so did her high school years. Then came the need to find employment, her transition being smoother than most, a thing that she is grateful about. Uh, I can't say I tarmacked. Maybe like six months uh, or seven months I got a job. And uh, even without the government job, there were still other jobs that you could do. Because I remember even I, I did a few of teaching. Though happy with her current life, it would have been much different if her childhood dream would have come true. Kenyans would not have the Summit Lager brand of beer to enjoy, but they would have gained a professional in a field that experiences a shortage of personnel. To become a doctor, and this one just came up when I went to secondary and discovered that I was very good in science. Tabitha Karanja, the business entrepreneur, is what people are more familiar with. But away from that, she has a full life, one in which she enjoys the simple things in life. And like everyone else during the Olympic season, she will be glued to her screen to follow the athletics going down in London as she can't get enough of that sport. Yes, the runners. Wow. <laughs> Though she resigned early in life and set out to start her business, looking back, she has but one regret, not having done that earlier in life. I was advantaged to get married, okay, I had a car, because I'm coming to park a car there a whole day, maybe. I've not done anything. Just as Bali is taken through a process to be turned into beer for the enjoyment of Kenyans countrywide, so has Tabitha Karanja's experiences prepared her for her current achievements. For my journey, I'm Charity Moreno.